welcome back friends today video session we are going to see how to pass this value dynamically okay i hope you understand if and if else if else if else this part you must understand right i hope you understand so in this program i am passing the value static way that is a hard coded the value here okay instead of hard coding the value i want to pass dynamically that is when i run the program i want to enter the value for variable a okay we have several ways in java now i'll going to use command line argument now now i'll going to use command line argument how to use command line argument here when you look at this method main method there is a one by argument called string args args nothing but a string variable it is a array variable okay it is a array variable okay when you executing a java program if you want to input some value that value we can assign in this args variable in this args variable this args variable must be in string type okay we cannot define integer or some other type it may, your uh, java runtime your jm expecting this particular argument is a string type that's the reason we are saying string args okay so uh, i want to enter some value that value must be a integer right so here we are using integer only that value must be integer but this main uh, string variable accepting a string value okay so we need to enter only string value once receive that string value we need to convert that string value to integer value okay we need to accept the number value of string type then we need to convert that string type to integer type okay Let's see how to do that now. Class dynamic. Oh, sorry. It saved as a text file. Okay, so we need to save as a Java file. Here it's a all all type, right? It's by default save that file as a text type. If you want to save particular type, you need to select the type here. Otherwise, you need to say dot Java within double quotes. If you like this, it will save as a Java class. I am removing I am removing this uh, text file. Okay. So, so these are array variable, right? You know what is the structure of array variable. I explained uh, the previous videos. If you don't know about the array variable, please watch that video. Okay. Arcs of zero. I am saying arcs of zero. When you say arcs of zero, what will happen? Whatever value you are entering, that value is stored in zeroth index of arcs variable as a string type. But here I am assigning string type to Into that type, definitely this program will not work. If you if you compile it, it will return an error. Okay, hmm. Java C class name is dynamic. So. Incompatible type string cannot be converted to integer. So clearly giving the comparison error. Now I want to convert this string type to integer type. We have a string dot uh, parse int. We have one one method called integer dot parse int. I think this is the right method. Mm -hmm. Integer is a Java class, predefined built in built class. In that class, we have a method called parse int. Parse int, whatever value we are passing inside a parse int argument, that value converted into converted into as a integer. Here we have to pass string variable, string value. Whatever string value we are passing, that value converted into integer. That integer value is into integer variable a. Okay. Here we are going to print a system dot out dot. Enter then. Enter value is value is a. 
okay now i'm going to compile this program java c program compiled okay now it's compiled because this uh, integer class from this integer class i am calling parseint method inside a parseint method i am passing uh, i am passing also of zero value whatever value i'll going to input at the time of executing program that value it will convert into integer then after converting to integer then it will going to assign okay that's the reason it's not giving any compilation error okay now i'll going to run the program java just me let's say the particular class so now it's giving the error here array index out of bound exception index zero out of bound that meaning he when i execute this program i have not entered any value here right i have not entered any value without in, uh, inputting any value i am running this program but here i am expecting some value or of zero position i am expecting some value your program expecting some value so since i am not entering any value um, in, in the zero position uh, it has a null value right so that's the reason it's giving uh, array index of our bound exception i am trying to get some value from zero to position but zero to position don't have any value so it's giving this error so be careful when you run this program we need to enter some value i am entering 30 now okay i am entering 30 here if a equal to 10 print this i am saying if a equal to else if a equal to 19 print this if a equal to 100 print this i am saying so here i am entering 30 nothing is match okay so it will come to else block invalid value it will print invalid value here i will going to change the um input uh, print statement the entered value values i want to print water value we have entered a uh, yeah. okay so water value we are entering that value assign to here we are checking here nothing will satisfy because here i am trying to input 30 finally else block else block will execute water value we have entered here okay hmm? else block invalid value oh i have not after uh, here printing invalid value right but uh, this this statement not printing the reason is after changing this line i need to compile i forgot to compile again entering 30 so the entered value is 30 here i am printing the entered value is 30 then else block i am printing entered value is 30 so two statement is printing if you print any other value apart from this this block will execute let's i am going to uh, enter 100 value is 100 this is printing if i enter 19 value is 19 so if you going to enter other the number here okay for example i am going to enter suresh what will happen number format exception i am entering is suresh here now suresh value available in this org of 0 this integer dot parse in try to convert suresh value as a integer very integer value but suresh is a not a valid integer value correct so that's the reason your java program returning number format exception at the time of executing the program so the input string is a not a number it's saying this meaning of the exception is not a valid number so we have to enter correct value then only this particular method will work out okay i hope you understand what is a command line argument then using command line argument we have make it this particular if statement dynamic okay hmm? okay now there is another program i am going to create file share us command line i'll remove all the statement i'll remove this also okay i don't want anything i'll going to 
like this. I hope uh, you understand this particular program. Nothing in this program, right? Just I'm printing whatever I enter in the command line. That's it. Java C command line dot some what is this? Oh spelling mistake. It's a orgs. Here we have to use orgs. Okay. Whatever variable are you using, that's the same thing we have to use. Okay. So now I'm going to enter Suresh. Oh, sorry, command line. Fresh. The entered value is fresh printing. Now I'm going to enter fresh cache. Still it's saying entered value is fresh. But I entered Suresh K7. My expectation is the entered value is Suresh K7, but it's giving Suresh only. It's not printing K7. Okay. If you want to print K7, what you have to do? Since you are putting a space, right? A space, um, uh, you are um, it's considered as a second value. Okay, since we are putting a space, it's considered as a second value. So this Suresh will store in zero argument, zero element of your arcs variable. The cache one stored one element of your your arcs variable. So we have to create here one. There is a one more statement with arcs of one. Then Suresh cache will print. Uh, I'm going to uh, compile this program, then Suresh cache 1. Now it's printing the entered value is Suresh, the entered value is cache 1. Um, so the, um, uh, uh, this, is another, this is another way of printing the value with separated with a space. Okay, but I want to print this entire statement, this entire statement in the zeroth element only. How to do that? It is also possible. Now I'm going to comment out this program. I'll remove this one now. I don't want this. Now I'm going to compile. I compiled. Then Java C. Suresh mm. Kesar. Still it's printing Suresh. If you want to print the, uh, all the statement, all the values in uh, 0th element, we have to enclose with double quotes. Okay. See, it now it's printing Suresh Kesar. Okay. If you want to print all the value, which is separated by space, that particular values enclosed with double quotes. Okay. So I just I wanted to tell this information, that's it. In next class, I'll continue with the same uh, if statement, okay? Until then, bye-bye from Suresh. Thanks for watching this full video. If you like this video, please share it to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates. Still, you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe it. Thanks again.